Hey, welcome back to a new video. I am here with... Neil Gunlock. What's going on, people? So in this video, we are going to do this ultimate showdown, or better said, comparison, or a little bit historical. Depends how you want to look at it. An overview of the new Geo. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. We're going to talk about Neo Geo, the official ways we can play the Neo Geo games. So that doesn't include emulated uh, material like uh, on the PlayStation 4 or the Switch. We're or talking about hardware and software, official hardware and software from SNK themselves. Yep, so no Naughty Stick, no Pandora Stick. No. So this is what we're going to get. All right, what you already can see here in this overview, on the table we're having a lot of different systems. And we are going to talk about in the video, what are the differences, what are we going to get. Because with Neo Geo, there are a lot of obscure and systems we have maybe never seen before. So, but about Neo Geo, Neo Gunlock. Yeah. So tell us, what is your first Neo Geo system? Uh, it was an AES, the console, uh, yeah, the console actually. I bought it in 2006, had it ever since. And the reason why, well, Neo Geo is my favorite uh, brand, my favorite console of all time. Um, during the 16-bit days, I had the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis for mm -hmm. American viewers. And even back in those days, I wanted to have a Neo Geo. Until finally I was able to buy one. So for me, it's like, finally, after all these years, I'm, I'm owning a Lamborghini. Oh, and I can totally understand yeah. why it is. Yeah. So when I got it, it was like the complete package. It was the console, it, I had a CD controller, I didn't have the arcade stick. I complete with the King of Fighters 94. And as I've told you before, I always went on holiday with my parents uh, to Italy. And I came across a lot of Neo Geo games over there. So I had, I had a lot of fond memories. Finally, after all these years, it was, it was like owning the arcade at, at home. home. And that is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm more fascinated about the Neo Geo systems. Just basically that you're having, and what you're already saying, that you're having this arcade experience at home. At home. And that is something that's very cool. And nowadays, it is even more expensive to collect. There are so many ways to collect. And that is, a, I think, the main thing that I wanted to see, show a lot of people who are into arcade, retro gaming. And this is more like a unique opportunity for both of us to making this video and to show you all what is all possible nowadays. True, true. And let's not forget, Neo Geo, uh, it's arcade quality. The ultimate in 2D gaming, if you ask me. So the first one in the list of all the systems that we're having here is the Neo Geo MVS, where it all started. I don't own the complete arcade machine simply because I don't have the money and the space for it. Especially the space. Oh yeah. So I was thinking, I need to have a console version and I came across one second hand in my own country. There is a guy in Italy who makes these consoleized versions, quite some different versions out there. This is just a single slot main board, so we can just use one game. There's already one game in it, nevertheless it's a multi-game card, but you're getting the idea. So what we're having is the real arcade experience, MVS main board, consoleized like a game console. How cool is that? Neo Geo MVS, MVS stands for Multi Video System. It was an arcade board uh, with inter interchangeable cartridges, just like a home console. Now, like we said, there are uh, different versions. You have a one slot, a two slot, a four slot and a six slot. It was released in Japan in 1990 and in the West in 1991. And it was actually there to rival Capcom's CPS-1 system. In my view, it was superior over that. Until Capcom came with uh, the CPS-2, which was technically better. So coming back to the consoleized MVS, for the people who are interested in this, this is a very unique way to play original arcade games. There are different versions out there, keep in mind, I have here the RGB SCART edition, there's also an HDMI edition nowadays. Yeah, I will leave a link in the description of the eBay page from the guy in Italy, he still makes them pretty damn awesome if you want to have one. Keep in mind, it's not very cheap to buy these consoles, but one thing is for sure, and I think you will agree that yeah, the MVS cartridges are way cheaper than the AES version. True, true. So it's, if you want to have the real experience and the real cartridges, it's a fun way to start collecting and uh, playing. Yeah, uh, if you look on eBay, uh, MVS games, they are basically cheaper than AES games, a lot cheaper. And if you're lucky, you can get full kits, complete with these uh, mark stickers. Mm -hmm. um, but you really need to have, have them in good condition, in my opinion. 
True, true, yeah. true. But again, it's a great way to experience the original yeah. Neo Geo without emulation. It is, it is. And the next one on the list is the AES system. If it comes to obscure system and expensive one, this is one of the biggest and baddest and expensive system you can get. I already did a separate review about it, so I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in this product. It's really cool. I found it with Magic Button. This store sells a lot of these awesome products. Nevertheless, so the Neo Geo AES. What do you think, Neo Gunlock? Ah, the AES, my favorite console of all time. AES stands for Advanced Entertainment System. And after the MVS was a big success in the arcade, they decided to make a console out of it. Primarily for the rental market in Japanese hotels. And then someone at SNK had the bright idea to... Well, sell it. Don't rent it, just sell it. And that's where this beast of a console came to be. It's, it is designed after a Lamborghini Countach. All right. <laughs> I didn't know that until our good buddy yeah. Esco oh, Mr. told Anderson. me that. Yeah, so Esco, shout out to you, buddy. And well, if you take a look at the console, the front cover, it does look like front hood of a Countach. SNK, they marketed the Neo Geo as a 24-bit system. Is this true? Yes and no. In reality, the gaming processor is a 16-bit slash 32-bit 86,000 uh, processor and they use a 24-bit uh, chipset for the graphical interface. Is it true? It depends on the way you look at it. I just want to do a quick point out to the memory card simply because if you look at the memory card itself it's pretty cool. It's a work of art. It looks amazing and what is very unique that you have this more like interchangeable memory card you can use for the AES, go to the arcades and yeah. have your high scores and your safe states and you can just use it in the arcade. So there's something that is very cool, you don't see that nowadays. And uh, yeah, I think the new G memory card, it's very rare, it's very expensive, but it's just fun to talk about. It has a battery inside, which you need to replace like every four or five years. So you need to open it up. Uh, it's quite a bit of a faff, but there are tutorials for that on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so the battery needs to be replaced. But if you look at the arcade stick that comes with the new Geo, that is also very special. Yeah. It's a, a very cool, black, sleek design, very comfortable and also very responsive. So that brings us to the other part, that are the cartridges itself. They are very unique, they are super expensive sometimes, not all of them, there are a couple of games that are affordable. So we're going the earlier games. The earlier games, let's yeah. say around 50 up to 100 euro here. Yeah. And they are, let's say, the fun for the people who just want to collect a couple of them, like me. But if you look at it, it's very beautiful. It's just like a Sega Mega Drive game. You have in this complete box. Only the cartridges are super yeah. gigantic and huge. They are just super huge. I did a little comparison in previous videos. Well, think of um, they are about the size of an old VHS videotape. And unlike uh, Mega Drive and Super NES cartridges, they have two printed circuit boards inside them with uh, gold conductors. And that makes them very unique and very big and very expensive but if you look at the manual that is cool so we have discussed the cartridge versions but then we having the neo geo cd and there's a lot to talk about yeah um snk they uh originally started with a cd project to lower the cost of the production mm -hmm. cartridges in order to make them are very expensive yep and well cds seen as are uh, they're cheaper to make they're also less vulnerable when they fall that's true and uh basically they wanted to up their game with the competition yeah basically get becoming more mainstream cd-rom gaming for the pc was at their uh, was at the start and snk they wanted in on that so they designed the cd uh, console there are three versions mm -hmm. a front loader awesome console almost as big as an old xbox problem was the front loader unit itself was also quite vulnerable there was the second version which i have over here the top loader brilliant design and lastly there's a cdz version and the reason for that because the cd has one big flaw it only has a single speed drive, so the loading times for a lot of the later games are a pain. 
and it's just horrible so yeah basically if you look at the cd version and the cartridge version the cd it's great they wanted to stop up the game they want to fight the competition yeah. with the name neo geo but at the end they just miserably failed sadly yeah. because the loading times were so freaking long indeed indeed if you look at the arcade games it was instant play instant and that and was the power of the cartridge yeah uh it, it's okay for the earlier games king of fighters 94 uh i believe the original metal slug they're okay but if you take a look at uh, the King of Fighters 99, Last Blade 2, I believe those are the latest games, the last games to be developed for the system. Mm -hmm. uh, loading times are a pain. So the Neo Geo CD is a really cool device, it's an obscure system like yeah, all the other Neo yeah, Geo stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun collectible, but if you want to play and have a good experience, I think you don't want to have this version. Uh, it depends, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a hardcore SNK fan, I like my Neo Geo CD. The games themselves, they are almost arcade perfect, uh, and some of the later fighting games who still have had cuts in their animation. Mm, that's really cool. But other than that, uh, yeah, if you can bear the long loading times, it's still cool to own one. Uh, I even have a game which is only in Japanese. Uh, one thing that we all also forgot to mention, Neo Geo systems, they're region free. Doesn't matter whether you have a Japanese, an American or U European console. All right, cool. play any game, but I have this very obscure game for the CD itself, Samurai Shodan the RPG, which is Japanese no matter what. <laughs> But I did manage to uh, finish it a, a few years ago with a walkthrough, I have to add. And, well, it's basically one of the reasons I still own the CD. It's just a really cool Neo Geo collectible. Yeah, it is, it is. So let's talk about the controller, because this is a little bit of a different story like the other systems. Uh, yeah, well, instead of uh, the arcade stick that you got with the AS, SNK decided to scale it all down to a controller which is about the size of a Super Nintendo controller. And it has this very cool D-pad which is basically like a very small flat arcade stick. It has the same clicky uh, noise and it has the same movement as well. And you can also use it on an AES or even on a consolized MVS. Fun fact, they did release this controller for PlayStation 1 and it is super yeah. expensive. Yeah, expensive <laughs> but it's, it's a very good one as well. So that brings us to the Neo Geo X and I don't know if there are a lot of people who know this product but this is something that is more like a hybrid I like to call it. Yeah, it's a hybrid console. Many years before the Nintendo Switch they released a system better said they introduced this thing like the new Neo Geo or Neo Geo is back. Yeah. But it was a little bit of a weird situation in many ways. For example it was just basically a Handheld. Yeah, a handheld which emulates Neo Geo. It was developed by manufacturer. Yeah, Tomo Blaze. Tomo, Tomo. Uh, yeah, Blaze yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Tomo in the rest of the world. There was a little bit of a controversy between them and SNK, which I won't go into further detail. Anyway, you can use it as a handheld. And there's also a docking station modeled after the AES. I myself, I've always been uh, not too keen on this product. Recently I've played some more with it, thanks to Wicked. I think it's a cool gadget, but it's, it is the black sheep of the Neo Geo family. Yeah, agreed. But if you look at the device itself, the build quality of the handheld itself, I really love it. At the left we're having the analog stick that we can find with the Neo Geo CD control. Do I say it correctly? Yeah, Neo Geo CD, CD controller. CD so we're having more like this. This not all, I did read in the comments, not everybody really likes this analog stick or this, mm -hmm. this clicky mini arcade stick. It's an acquired taste. It's an impersonal taste, but in ever but a fun fact, and that's something I need to mention, you can firmware hack it or upgrade it, yeah. that you can play even more like with Neo Geo. But at the end, if you look at the overall quality, it was very poor emulation. Yeah. And the docking station, I personally hate it. It's really horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the, not the best. No, but if you look at it and the upgrade pack, so they were selling this thing like an upgrade or better than a handheld where you can buy SD cards. So how cheap can it make? Can you make yeah, it? As the basic SD card where you can find in any store yeah. with new games on it that you can put in and you can play the games. The idea behind it was good. But at the end, the final product was pretty poor. The joystick yeah. itself feels a little bit flimsy, a little bit yeah. like a Wicked Wiggle it, stick. It's uh, quite responsive, but it's not the real thing. Especially when, it, when you compare it to an original arcade stick. It feels quite cheap, especially the stick itself. Uh, the buttons, in my opinion, don't feel as nice. Um, yeah, it, it's a shame. It's a shame indeed. There were two versions, a new Geo X 
and they're just the basic version that I bought second hand with the system, uh, or rather the handheld and the console itself. And we have a new gold edition with complete unboxed that is freaking expensive nowadays. So again, yes people, it's not as great like the original deal, but still it's freaking expensive. It's freaking unbelievable. All right, so that brings us to the Neo Geo Mini. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think it can't get any worse what beside the new <sighs> GX Guess again, people. All right, so let's talk about the idea behind it. So idea behind it, it's pretty cool to introduce Neo Geo to the next generation of people. And of course, a lot of old collectors can have these very expensive games. I get it. You have this mini arcade machine. It's fun to collect. It's fun to have in your retro gaming collection. But at the end, it's just one big joke, if you ask me. Let's be honest, SNK they wanted to cash in on what Nintendo did with the NES Mini, the SNES Mini. Yeah. For example, it's more like the, the arcade machine, we have this analog stick that is on the machine itself, it's horrible. Ugh. It's just so horrible. I reviewed a lot of the arcade stuff from China with Wicked Wiggle yeah. Sticks, but this thing... People, to give a little bit of context. Before we started filming this, I played a little bit with it, some I showed them for you. I couldn't get any of the moves out. And it's just way too cheap. And if you ask me, SNK, if they really wanted to make a Neo Geo Mini, they should have made a Mini AES, yep. which you can plug to your TV. For example, yeah, indeed, more like a plug and play, yeah. like NES and the Super NES from Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at it, the, and the, but I think it's when it came out, the idea behind it with the color schemes, like Japanese version, the international, I really like it. Uh -huh. um, the screen itself is not bad at all. But if you look at the way how it's emulating, I know some guys from YouTube, for example, Metal Jesus was not not pleased about it. And it's all again, it's more how you experience it. The gameplay itself, I think it's not super horrible, uh, but I, was, I played some of Shona 4, one of my favorite games. And I didn't see anything wrong with emulation. The control itself, it's a ripoff from the Neo Geo CD back in the day, but again, yeah. they messed it up. There was no clicky joystick, it's just an analog stick. Horrible. And they, for some reason, they changed the button layout. Oh. Why they did that is beyond me, but yeah, well. It's just weird. And I must say, that's funny that you can plug and play this device, this Neo Geo arcade machine, into your television. Yeah. And then I had this collectible dish version of Summer of Showdown. And with this version, you're getting two controllers and you can plug it like in, let's say, in game system. The idea behind it, I get it, it's pretty cool, but the, the final product is not perfect. And the fact that they are producing so many different versions, it's yeah. just more like a moment from people. We're going to milk the cow. Indeed, indeed. Um, I'm a, like I said, I'm a long time Neo Geo fan. I get it why they did it, but for me, it is a blemish on the Neo Geo brand. Like you said, there are many different versions out there, especially Samurai Shodan themed. And I think that's the difference. You are coming from the 90s, the real deal, the real yeah. system. That was the real arcade experience that we have in Neo Geo. And this is more like a toy. It's just a yeah. big toy, toy that you can pick up. They're not cheap, don't get me no, wrong. No, they're not cheap toys. They're not cheap, they're not a $50 price. But nevertheless, this is what you go to get. And uh, yeah, if you like it, I can totally live with it, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's more like what do you want to experience with Neo Geo. So for the final product, and it's a brand new product from 2019, it's the Pro Stick. So we had a lot of Pandora boxes and even Capcom made their own home arcade stick. Pretty cool. But Neo Geo, and it was a little bit confusing saying, all right, what we're having now our new Neo Geo system coming out. It was bought as the Neo Geo 2. Even I fell for it, I thought, oh man, I gotta have this, and then I saw what it was. It was just basically a Pandora box clone, or better said, let's say a Neo Geo stick that emulates Neo Geo games, yeah. plug and play stick, and what the hell. It uh, resembles an old Fisher Price toy. Among Neo Geo collectors, it is also known as the Fisher Price model. <laughs> there are 20 games on it, and you can unlock so, uh, more games via a very. In total of 40, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. A very complicated and lame way. Once again, they still changed the damn button layout. Why? I don't know. You can change it in the software if you want to. Okay, yeah. But, but the colors are not all not right. No, indeed, indeed. The stick itself. It's good. Still, I was so disappointed in this. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, they, they say, okay, the new Geo, new Geo system is coming, so everybody was hyped, or I was yeah. hyped, he was hyped. Yeah. And just realizing that it's just basically a plug and play stick, it's more like an anti Pandora box. <laughs> it basically and is. It's a fun thing, but I want to point out you can combine this thing with the Mini. You can use this thing like an arcade stick on your PC. You can use this thing like an arcade stick on your Mini uh, Neo Geo and 
you can use the controllers on the device. You can hook a second controller or a second pro stick inside the pro. So there are a lot of yeah. different ways to can play with this device. And nowadays we have them, let's say you unlock all of the games. You can have 40 games, Metal Slug, fighting games. There is a quite different, yeah, big difference and genres of what you're going to have. Nevertheless, we have a lot of great games to play Neo Geo style with pro stick. So we're having all of these systems, many ways to play Neo Geo games like the official way. But then there's the question, what is the favorite one? So let's start with you, Neo Geo. Look, what is your favorite system to play with all the yeah, devices? You're well, saying, uh, what's my number one? My number one console in general, it's the AES, the Neo Geo Advanced Entertainment System. And which system do you really hate of these versions? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, people might not like my answer, but uh, it's my opinion. And I'm just not a big fan of the Neo Geo Mini. Once again, I understand why SNK did it, but... I really like the AES, I agree with you. It's a great way, it's a super expensive way, but it's the only way. And for my second favorite, just need to say it, the MVS. It's just mm -hmm. for the people who say, I want to have this arcade experience. Yeah, I definitely. don't have a major budget, but I think this is a great way to play the MVS games. It is. And the system I hate at the moment, yeah, I agree. Again, the Mini. <laughs> because if you look at everything, uh, they're all having positive, even Neo Geo X have some positive things, like the handheld. Yeah. I love handhelds, so the Mini is an obvious choice for me why I really hate it. All right, so let's grab this topic. We have discussed all of these devices, um, mm -hmm. the flaws, the horrible version, the great system from the past. But I want to know from the community what what do you want to see with the new Geo stuff? What if they are going to release a new version? Yeah. What do you want to see? I personally, if I want to see just a cartridge based system again, mm -hmm. I know it's a fact there are even portable devices nowadays are getting into cartridge systems again. So, and not SD cards like the new Geo X, that is just freaking cheapo, but really awesome systems. Just a new Geo with cartridges. Yeah, the Pro Stick was touted as a new Geo too. I myself, I hope it's something completely different. So I hope it really is an actual new Neo Geo console. Okay, so the reason why I want to make this video with Neo Gunlock, we are both have the passion for Neo Geo. I love Neo Geo, there's mm. a lot of to talk about. Yeah. I hope this gives you a more like a better idea what are we going to get with the Neo Geo and the ways you can play them. And yeah. there's more and again a little bit of a chit chat. New good luck. Thanks for entering the channel. Thanks for doing this with me. Hey, you know me, man. Always here to help. I want to thank you all for watching. Let us know what do you think of the new Geo stuff. Do you hate something? Do you love something? Just leave it in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, people, Neo Geo for life.